all right youtube as you see from the title and thumbnail this video is going to be keyboard and mouse keybinds guide this video is going to be a full guide so you can find the best optimal binds for you obviously there's not just one good set of binds so that's why i'm going to give you the best options for each build and it's up to you to choose what will be the most comfortable for you key binds are very important because bad key binds can hold you back skill wise this video is for people using wasad for movement because if you use the joystick you're able to use wd as binds so let's get straight into the video so for your edit bind you want to use v c f g or e v or c is going to be the most optimal because you're going to edit v or c with your thumb meaning you can edit and have full 360 movement while editing f or g are good options as well but if you edit f or g with your pointer finger like me what's going to happen is while you're editing you can't move right a lot of y'all may not know this but clicks edits with g we all know this but he edits g with his thumb meaning he has full 360 movement while editing while using f or g Currently, I edit with F and I use my right pointer finger, meaning while editing, I can't move right. I do plan on switching to V edit so I can start editing with my thumb so I can have full 360 movement. I don't feel like editing F or G with my thumb, so I'd rather just use an actual thumb bond like V or C, but I'm gonna go with V. You can still edit F or G with your pointer finger and it's still good. It's just for the people who want 360 movement, either use your thumb for F or G or switch to V or C. E is also a good bind. Obviously, that's a pointer finger bind. You won't have 360 movement, so that's just something to think about. But you can still be good without 360 movement. There's tons of players who are really good who edit with their pointer finger. Now we're gonna get into building binds. I recommend using two mouse buttons for building binds, especially if you're a beginner. You will learn keyboard and mouse faster since you only have to learn two building binds on your keyboard and learn two building binds on your mouse. If you want to use one mouse button for building and the other mouse button for pickaxe or shotgun, that's fine too. That's a very popular thing people do. If you're gonna go no mouse buttons for building, your keyboard hand is gonna have a lot of binds, which isn't a bad thing. I just recommend putting one building bond on each finger. Your middle finger never moves from W or S, so you'll put one building bond on your pinky, one on your ring finger, one on your index finger, and one on your thumb. If one of your fingers doesn't have a lot of binds, I guess you could use two building binds on one finger, but that's pushing it. I wouldn't do two building binds for each finger. So for example, if my pinky doesn't have a lot of binds, I'll do two building binds on my pinky, one on my ring finger, and then one on my index finger. And if you have three building binds on your keyboard, meaning you have one mouse button as a build bind, I'd recommend putting two building binds on one finger. Same with having two building binds on your keyboard. If you have two or three building binds on your keyboard, you wanna have one building bind per finger. This prevents one of your fingers being overloaded with binds. You don't want to have a lot of binds on one finger. You want to spread out your binds to all your fingers. For your wall bind, you can pick from F, Q, C, or a mouse button. For your stair bind, you can pick from E, F, Q, or a mouse button. For your floor bind, you can pick from Q, left shift, X, or a mouse button. For your cone bind, you can pick from left shift, C, Q, V, or X. You can only use a mouse button for wall, stair, or floor, and you can only use left shift for floor or cone. For pickaxe and weapon slots, some people use the numbers 1 through 6. If you don't want to use certain numbers, any extra binds you have left over that you're not using for your build, shotgun, pickaxe, etc. can be used for weapon and heal binds. Those are the best, most optimal building binds. When choosing your binds, you have to figure out which binds are going to go on your mouse buttons, if any, and on your keyboard hand, which binds are going to go to which finger. For your pickaxe bind, you can pick from 1, tab, mouse button, V, or Q. For your shotgun bind, you can pick from mouse button, 1, 2, 3, E, Q, C, or V. For resetting builds, you should only be using scroll wheel reset down to reset builds. You shouldn't be resetting like a controller player and have an actual key bind like F as your reset. You can get away with using scroll wheel up, but I just recommend using scroll wheel down. And you know the scroll wheel, you can scroll it up or down. You could also push it in and you could bind it to something. For the love of God, please don't do that. I've seen people push in their scroll wheel as a bind for like shotgun or something. Just don't do that. That's so unoptimal. So leave pushing in the scroll wheel for pinging things. But I've seen people use scroll wheel up for a weapon, scroll wheel down for a weapon. Like where's your scroll wheel reset? The whole reason I switched to keyboard and mouse was to have scroll wheel reset. So to see people use scroll wheel up and down for a weapon and have no scroll wheel reset, it's just crazy to me. Please use scroll wheel reset if you're on keyboard or mouse and use it down or up. It doesn't really matter. I recommend down though. And use scroll wheel up for picking up things. So you can have scroll wheel pick up. It's overpowered off spawn. For your crouch and slide bind, I would leave it at left control. I wouldn't change that. For your tactical sprint bind, I don't know what's good. I use cap lock, so if you want to copy, you can. But in terms of giving you options, I don't know what's good for tactical sprint, so that's up to you. 
As you see, certain binds are interchangeable. X can be a good bind for like floor if you're able to reach it. I personally can't reach the X bind or it can be a good healing bind. Z is a very hard bind for me to hit personally, but if you can hit it just fine, you can use that for a weapon slot bind or even like a wall, cone, or floor bind. But I wouldn't really recommend using it as a building bind unless it's very comfortable to press for you. A bind like G isn't universal. It can only be used as an editing bind or a weapon slot bind like heals or SMG AR, but it shouldn't be used as a building bind or a shotgun bind. So some of y'all may copy my binds so we can quickly go over my binds and we can see how we can make my binds optimal. My pinky clicks left control, which is my slide and crouch, left shift, which is my cone, my ring finger clicks cap locks, which is my tactical sprint, tab, which is my pickaxe, Q, which is my floor, and A, which is my move left. My middle finger stays on W and S. My pointer finger does D, which is move right, E, which is use, R, reload, T, which is my like metal wall arm bind, G, which is SMG and AR bind, F, which is my edit bind, three which is my mobility bind like shockwaves and four which is one of my healing binds and then my thumb does spacebar which is jump and and c which is one of my healing binds and on my mouse on my two side mouse buttons i have wall and stair scroll will down is scroll will reset and scroll will up is my shotgun so to make my binds optimal i have to take off binds off my pointer finger since my pointer finger is being overworked and my thumb is pretty much doing nothing i'm gonna change my editing bind from f to v i'm gonna start editing with my thumb G is my AR says SMG bind. I'm gonna put that on one, get my ring finger to work a little more. Now F is open. I'm gonna either put my shotgun bind, which is scroll up and it's not optimal. I'm gonna put that on F or I'm gonna put my shotgun bind on E and I'm gonna put use on F. So I'm either gonna do one of those. I don't know if I want my current healing bind, which is C next to my new editing bind, which is V. So I may put that healing bind on two, get my ring finger to work a little more and my trap bind and the armored wall bind, which is T. That's, that's far, I don't really like that. So I can either put that on G or I could put that on my thumb. And please leave space bar for jump. Don't change it, don't be weird. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, peace.